take a journey through post-apocalyptic Russian wastelands as a scavenger in 35mm, a survival game that takes place after the collapse of society. Welcome to another Sergeant Sentinel gaming review video. I'm SSG aka Sergeant Sentinel and today we're discussing 35mm. But before we continue, I want to say thanks if you're watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new content, whether it's new live streams or new game review video. Disclosure, I did receive a free review copy of this game from the publishers through keymailer.co. Thank you for that. I do greatly appreciate it. Developed by Sergei Noskov and published by Sergei Noskov and sometimes you, 35mm originally released for Microsoft Windows on May 27th, 2016, and for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and Nintendo Switch on March 2nd, 2022. For this review, I played the PlayStation 4 version of 35mm on my PlayStation 5 via backwards compatibility. There are games that take place in post-apocalyptic settings that are fast-paced and more focused on gunplay, such as Metro and Fallout. 35mm is not one of those games. Yes, there are weapons you can acquire as you progress through the different levels, but this game's focus is more on adventure, exploration, and taking in your surroundings. Segments of the story are told in memories, and it is through these and your journey through various locales with, with your fellow traveler that 35mm really shines. Like I previously said, there are segments of this game where you might remember certain things of your character's past, but the game does actually take place in the present. I just don't want there to be any confusion. It's kind of like flashbacks to certain sections in your life. Now additionally there are external threats that you'll have to deal with but the majority of this game is structured like a walking simulator. It is important to scavenge though whenever you can for any types of resources you can find whether it's food, batteries for your flashlight, weapons like I previously mentioned, and so on. An emphasis is put on taking pictures, hence the name 35mm, as your character will snap shots of certain situations throughout your journey and it is important to note that as previously mentioned, this is less of a fast paced shooter and much more of an environmental exploration game where a slower pace is the preferred rate. And we're learning about the story through notes and other clues left in the now desolate towns and locales tells a meaningful and enjoyable story. Admittedly, this game will not be for everyone, but if you do enjoy slower, more methodically paced games like walking simulators and survival games that don't necessarily focus on imminent death around every corner, 35mm is probably a game you're going to want to check out at some point. Right now, 35mm is $9.99 on PlayStation and Xbox stores, $8.99 on Steam, and on sale for Nintendo Switch for $5.99. The sale ends August 17th. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button. Share it with someone who may enjoy it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new content. This is SSG aka Sergeant Sentinel. Take it easy gamers.